Hey friends, Rylan Russell here. Welcome back to the channel today. I wanna to talk to you about my favorite budget option for wireless in-ears. In-ear monitoring has become such an essential part of the worship leading experience. And here at my church, Central Baptist in Owasso, Oklahoma, we have a myriad of wireless in-ear systems that I've used and tried over the years. And this one that you see here is the Phoenix Pro PTM 10. It's a great budget friendly option. I think it's around $219 and it has served us really, really well. Now we've got a few different Sennheiser high-end IEM systems. That's what I use on a Sunday morning. We've got a couple of AKG units that are, you know, stepped down from that. Those have been good. Uh, I also have these, this is my first try for a into budget IEMs, these Galaxy Audios and um, little indie spots. They're about $250, I think. And uh, so I'll tell you kind of some of the positives and negatives between this system, the Phoenix Pro PTM 10 and the Galaxy Audios. So why would you choose this system? Well, you need wireless access to in-ear monitoring for your band or for you leading worship. And let me go over the positives of what I really like about this system. All right, first of all, it's got this really, I, I really like the pack that comes with this system because it has a power on button right there. And then it has a separate volume knob. So you can have the benefit of setting your volume independently from the power. Most of my other inner, well, all the other inner systems that I have, they have a knob that clicks on and then you set your volume with that knob. And so, um, you know, you, you have this knob that controls the volume and the power. And so, let's see click it off, then it's off. And that drives you crazy when you're leading worship because say you get your volume set perfectly whenever you're doing rehearsal. Well, you have to turn your pack off between sets. So you turn it down and you try to remember I was about three fourths of the way up, you know, cause you always want to give yourself a little bit of headroom. And with these packs right here, that doesn't happen because you simply set your volume and you use your power button when you're done, you still leave your volume the same power it back on when you're ready to go for the service. And so that's one of the best things that I like about it. Now these do operate in the 900 uh, megahertz band. And so, you know, most of your other higher end gear is gonna operate in the 500 usually. And uh, I, I was worried about that because I've never used any gear in the 900. Uh, I I've heard that it's a little more of a crowded band with like TV stations and stuff, but uh, we have, I think, six different microphone receivers that are Shure ULX S4s. We've got six wireless in-ear units. We have wireless guitar. We've got a lot of wireless going, and I've had absolutely no issues with these units, like no dropouts. Uh, our singers use these every week. The reason I bought these units is because I had a drum line that I needed a bunch of them for, and I was able to buy one receiver, and I have five of these packs. And so each drummer just shared one mix. Uh, these can do a stereo mix, and they have some other good features that are built in. So um, why would you choose this unit over something like the Galaxy Audio? Well, the Galaxy Audio, one major, major problem with it is it is a locked frequency. This unit, operates at 630.200. If there's any interference on that, you can't change any of the selections. This has, I think, 85 different channels that you can choose between. So if there is interference, you have options to scan for those better frequencies. It also comes with this like pretty nice carrying case. Uh, if you're a mobile church, that might be something you should think about. Um, it's got a little plastic case 
and inside of that case you get rack mounting hardware which we don't use uh, some extra cabling and uh, just a foamy insert to carry that around in it does come with some headphones uh, I think we've used those in a pinch but never as our main monitoring headphones um, I use mine with 1964 custom molded ears and it sounds great a couple of the other features of this unit let me get rid of that galaxy audio one is on the front here you have a power button that you can turn the unit off and on with so you don't have to unplug the unit to power it on and off it remembers your frequency on this side you've got a headphone monitoring output if you want to hear what's actually going on this dial is just to, to see what's going on in the headphones but that can be handy uh, this is an input volume knob then you got your LCD screen, then how to set your settings, and all of those things. And so feature-wise, it does have a few cool extra things added into it. This has a built-in limiter. It also has some EQ options to where if you aren't sending you know, something that you can EQ into your ears, like just a microphone or something like that, and you wanna tweak it for your headphones, you can do that with the presets. Uh, it can either be a stereo feed uh, for panning into your ears or a mono feed. If you want it to be mono, you have to use the right channel of the unit. And so let me spin this around and I'll show you the back of the unit. Um, it's got these dual jacks for quarter inch or XLRs. It's got a pad and then a power cord and your antenna connection. That's pretty much it. So everything else is set within the menus on the actual unit. All right, guys, so that is the Phoenix PTM-10 wireless in-ear unit. Hope that this information helps you out. I know as a worship pastor, I'm always looking to save money, but at the same time, you don't wanna invest in things and put money into things that are gonna break and, and, and not last you. And so far, this has lasted us more than a year and it's been rock solid. None of my singers have complained about dropouts or anything like that. And uh, I can highly recommend it, you know, as a, as a budget option. Is it as nice as my Sennheiser unit build quality? No. But for a little over $200, I think it's worth it. I, I would buy another one if I need it. And so I will put links to this in the, in the description. Those are going to be affiliate links. They don't cost you anything. Uh, but it does, you know, give me a little kickback. So if you found this video useful, maybe give it a thumbs up and uh, check it out on Amazon if that's something that you're looking for. So hope this helps your ministry. And uh, remember, guys, we can do a lot of great things. Let's do it all for the right reasons.